falling down, cool love. ever, never going back, touch book. I will know it from my sin no more. Don't come out there, but I'm not gonna take I got ghosts, give my soul, see for back burn. I got ghosts, give my soul, see a suspect. Time away from me, you shot my shadow. Some of let us set my tongue on this affair. I can't write, but it knows, goes like in a flow, live fast for the money. Hello, YouTube. I'm back again with another video. This time, I'm going to be talking about people need to know the difference between opinions and cyberbullying and harassment. Uh, the reason why I want to like bring this up, obviously, it got my attention because of what I've experienced and because of YouTube censorship. As well as I talked about before, people falsifying videos, making false claims, and not being able to be yourself. Because I find I find people very like like compulsive and contradicting. And the reason I say that is because like what is the point of you a person being themselves? Like I don't want like to be honest, again, this is my opinion. Like, I don't want anybody trying to be like me. I just want people to act normal when they're in public. Or like to, ex ex and, I, and again, they don't have to agree with what I have to say. It's about accepting that not everybody is gonna, is gonna agree on the same thing. Or is gonna have like the same mindset or the same ambitions. Um, or the same hobbies or interest, whatever. But people get opinions mixed up with cyberbullying harassment and criticism. What, 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 one thing I can say is that when it comes to calling out scumbags, insulting them, wh whether it may be, may be you cussing them out and like trying to like let people know and be aware the type of person that's on the internet who's out there basically a scourge and a, and a parasite as well as a nuisance and they're going out harassing people uh, they're trying to mess with people's content uh, being annoying as hell being inappropriate being a weirdo then I, I have to pick I beg to differ I actually think that's separate from uh, cyberbullying harassment like you can argue that they're insulting that person, but they're just being honest at the person that they're talking about because of how they uh, like carry themselves. And another important thing is the only way I could see it really being cyberbullying harassment if it gets to the point that, that they're actually going to threaten this person's life and they take it personal and then they decide they want to dox them and send hate raids then i could say that's under the cyberbullying category but saying negative things about someone especially because of how they act and how they treat other people they they should be expecting it and my my the, the only reason i could see anybody defending those kind of people and this is no surprise it's either the diehard fans or the people who have it out out for you because they can't be able to co compete with you at a certain level especially when you know uh what your potential is and you realize what you're capable of and how you do content there are people who are going to try and compete with you and try to put you down so there's some things where people are just too sensitive uh they're always whining they're always reporting for like very petty uh, for, for absolutely petty reasons so it's one thing if there's an emergency if someone actually is a problem and is out here ruining it for everybody else then by all means 
let the platform be informed. But again, uh, when I do again, I when I do videos, you can you guys I'm sure you guys can tell I'm humble a lot of times. I uh, I try to be articulate. Uh, I speak on how I feel, and I try to like give people like pointers. I try to give out valid statements, and it's so that people can be able to like be sure to like be aware of not putting themselves in that situation. Or what I mean, putting yourself in that situation, it could lead to you like ruining your entire life, how people treat you, um, how you want people to like be able to like define you as a person. Because me personally, and this is my honest opinion, I always think it's best to be like a positive person because of what like I from heard from other YouTubers. It's always good to act, try and move on and move forward and not trying to like stir drama. But I think it's best to call out. You just don't uh, entertain it by basically going back and forth with the person. Or trying to make that person relevant because that, that that's basically what they're they're baiting on so I personally try not to uh, take people's bait and try to help like give them as much cloud as they want I just speak on things that I, I just want to be open about again my opinion you guys and it just it just comes across my mind that I feel I need to bring it up because I can't help but feel that not only do I enjoy making these kind of videos, but I feel like my my word is it may not be the, it may not be first, it may not be after everyone, but I feel like it is important for me to actually speak out and for me to like bring like and for in order for me to voice out what I how I feel and try to let people be on and let people be know that I'm honest and that whether we can like debate on something and we can all be able to try to like work with each other try to be on the same term I'm talking about literally being equal terms be on the same page uh, so it doesn't lead to any confusion um, and again even if someone may not vouch for me even if uh we may have a difference in opinion i'm always i'm always willing to like uh overlook that and if we can agree to see that there's just, just there's something that's basically um going too far or basically breaking boundaries or it's just abnormal completely immoral I feel like as people, if we see something uh, wrong, we have to be at least be able to like call it out and just be a hundred about it. And and again, does not mean I have to. We have to be like friends forever, or whatever, or like uh, rejoice. At least be there um, to like cope with one another. So we can try to at least work with each other. That way it doesn't become a problem for both of us. But it's sad nowadays like even though you're just simply talking and wanting to let people know what you're going through. And uh, it, again, I don't try to get into personal stuff. But I always feel like it's best like we, if, if, if you're trying, especially if you're trying to put people on the right path, all of a sudden people will try to drag you down those who and, I, and i'm pretty sure and, and, and people will tell you that i i guarantee you guys i assure you it's jealousy and there's a lot of haters on the internet uh of course the best thing i do is try to ignore them but these haters i don't know again the people that are whining complaining about my videos my content the one thing i'm, I'm wondering if if they actually know what uh cyberbullying is or if they're just literally talking out of us and just do whatever they can to get rid of me and for other uh, uh, like YouTubers because that in itself is a, is a problem on the platform and this is not me trying to be, bring hate amongst 
one other or like the like uh, like a lot of people who aren't willing to side with me and I'm not forcing anybody to like sub or whatever or partake in my antics or be forced to like um follow in my like ambitions or whatever follow in my footsteps or my goals that that's that's your own decision either way and some people seem to realize like on the internet people have free will just because you get angry and upset and because even though that person may be like a user on the internet just so just so you guys know just be, just because you, you you're angry at that person and they have they have a huge following and you whine and complain about it constantly, it's not it's not really it's not gonna really get that person to change their mind whatsoever. They can just outright ignore you, and they, they they don't they tend to forget like that there there there's always the people that that will support them. Me personally, I I don't I actually that's why I'm like even though I'm ta I'm bringing up my haters and I've been doing that I've been doing that before. I'm fully aware that I, ha I know the majority of people do support me. And it's only a few and I probably have mentioned them before but what can a few do to actually stop what I'm doing what can they do to actually be able to like discourage you discourage me from ever making content I'm still around till this day I'm still gonna be making videos because I know people and I, and I have faith and trust the people who are actually loyal to me and appreciate what I'm doing something that these people the haters, these these scumbag false flaggers, seem to overlook, and not are not able would never understand or and are too blind to see it. And they're gonna get nowhere on social media. Trust me. If especially if you're trying to be a content creator, you want to be an uh, influencer. You gotta learn to be able to like take criticism, take insults. And accept that, and accept, and accept the fact that there's always gonna be, ins there's always gonna be like uh, insults. There's gonna always be roast, negative uh, feedback towards you, and it's always gonna be there. And I know for a fact I'm always gonna have it. But my issue is, it's leading to the point where people are going in on me to the point they're trying to get me canceled. That's where I go in on people to make sure that this can be avoided. And looking back, all my content, I don't even know what I, I personally don't, can't see what I did with that ever, like, like how it could ever be considered cyberbullying. I mentioned earlier, I've been very humble, and there's no reason for ever, for me to ever be ashamed of what I'm doing. If anything, the people who are going in on me for the wrong reasons should be ashamed themselves. And I'm not going to try to convince them, I'm again, I'm just going to be myself. And I already know what I'm capable of, you guys, and I'm already seeing like results. The progress is coming in, and I'm managing to like be independent. And that's something that too many people aren't capable of doing when when it comes to actually social media. They could honestly learn something from me, whether those people don't like me or not. They could learn a th learn a thing or two, and try to improve themselves. Which I doubt, if they're not able to see through it, then they can't succeed. But overall, I feel like I said enough, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check for more upcoming content later in the future. Be sure to check your notifications. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you.